Plans are underway for a huge shake-up of how the Solent area is governed. It involves creating a body called the Solent Combined Authority that would have powers over Portsmouth, Southampton and the Isle of Wight. But how would it work and what would it do? I wanted to find out. The Solent Combined Authority. It doesn't sound sexy, but if plans go ahead, it could have huge powers over our area. So what is it and what does it do? Well, the main idea is to gain power over things currently looked after by central government. It would cover Portsmouth, Southampton and the Isle of Wight and is basically a decision-making board that would be headed up by an elected mayor. It would be able to make decisions about planning for housing, transport, leisure and business, the budget for adult education and training, new programmes for the long-term unemployed, bus services and supporting local businesses to trade globally. And importantly, it would get a £30 million cash injection from central government every year for 30 years, which adds up to £900 million over three decades. But critics say a Solent combined authority could split Hampshire. For Eastleigh, I don't want to be squeezed in the middle. I would like to see a whole Hampshire opportunity. I do not want to see Hampshire broken up in a rush just to deliver a government policy. There are also concerns that it ignores the way other things like the police and the NHS are run. And you're being asked to be part of the decision-making process in a huge consultation. But we found that Solent citizens aren't always fully aware of the plans. I have not heard of the Solent Combined Authority, no. No. I've not heard anything about it at all. Yes, I have. I would have to have to think about that and, and have to think about the, the, the various options. If certain people in certain councils favour one rather than the other, then things will be slotted through. And I'm very suspicious, put it that way. A consultation is currently underway and you can have your say until the 18th of September. Charlotte Brewer-Edney, that's Solent. Well, earlier on, I invited firm supporter of the plan, the current leader of Portsmouth City Council, into the studio to answer some questions. I started by asking why we needed the Solent Combined Authority. The best way to get growth in local areas, to get companies wanting to relocate to the UK, to get people going to college and studying the courses they really need to do, and to get more houses built and improve roads, they really need to be empowering us, the local decision makers, to be able to make those decisions locally. So this isn't about the councils merging together. This isn't about Portsmouth and Southampton and the Isle of Wight becoming one big council. We will all remain as three individual councils. This will just be a board that we will sit on where we will be agreeing the spending of central government money uh, here locally in the Solent area. Let's talk about that money then, this £30 million a year over 30 year figure. Mm. I mean, if we look at the budgets of Portsmouth City Council, Southampton City Council and the Isle of Wight Council, all together it comes to about £470 million a year, roughly the budget. So £30 million is actually only about 5 to 6% of that. And going forward in 30 years' time, in 2046, £30 million might not be worth as much as it's worth now. So is it really going to make that much difference? Well, the existing £470 million that you're referring to will remain as is. That's completely separate. And we will carry on using that money to deliver the services that we have to at the moment. This new money, £900 million over the next 30 years, will come to us so that we can be improving and helping to deliver new housing schemes and the road infrastructure. It's not really that much money. It's, you know, it's less than Port City Council spends on children's services in a year. But we will still have that other money. This is new money and it's not to run all of our council services. What about the areas kind of in between, the places like Eastleigh and Gosport that sort of aren't going to necessarily have kind of votes on that board, are they? Then, but they are definitely going to be affected by the decisions that you're making. Yes, they are. And they're very key partners to us. And initially, the combined authority is being set up as Portsmouth, Southampton and the Isle of Wight. After the combined authority has been set up, other councils, such as the one that you mentioned, will have the opportunity to write to us if they want and ask if they can join. At the moment, because the county council are not 100% on board with the proposal, they are not happy for their district councils to join at this stage. But I mean, some people are worried that they've got two worries. One, that you're going to create this sort of Solent mega city or some kind of huge thing and we're all going to become this indistinct mass. 
And then the other worry is that you're, as you said there, there's kind of a split, isn't there? There's kind of the southern parts, Southampton, Portsmouth and the Isle of Wight, and then the more northern areas of Hampshire. But ultimately, Hampshire is kind of one and, you know, things like the police and the NHS are not, not run along those boundaries. That's going to throw up some big problems, isn't it? No, not at all, because the county of Hampshire will remain and Hampshire County Council will remain. There is no change to any of that. At the moment, the councils I've just mentioned sit already on a board that we meet about six or seven times a year called PUSH, the Partnership for Urban South Hampshire. And all PUSH really does is make decisions about housing and spatial planning, spatial strategy work, and a little bit of uh, advice and research around uh, road networks as well. And actually, what we're now going to do is to do that work, but with a budget. Because at the moment, the Partnership for Urban South Hampshire has no actual budget and no actual decision-making powers. It's more of a consultory type function body. And what we want to do is to formulate this and formalise it so that we can actually start taking decisions and spending money locally. There will be no Solent City, as I know some of the media outlets have, have branded that phrase. That's absolutely not going to happen. The cities and the towns will absolutely remain as they are. The individual councils remain as they are. And let's talk about the Isle of Wight because the island, you know, really value their distinctness. But mm. potentially with this combined authority, they could have people who spend most of their time on the mainland making decisions that are affecting the island. How are you going to make it work for people on the island? I don't think that anyone on the Isle of Wight, including the councillors, will see any difference whatsoever. I think the only person well, that will no see... Point, then, is there? <laughs> no, in terms of the running of the combined authority. So the outputs they will notice because there will be more money spent on improving the roads on the Isle of Wight and improving connectivity and things like the upgrade to the Red Funnel um, Terminal and uh, trying to get a university campus over there so they will see the outputs as improvements but in terms of the daily running of the council and the councillors how will it make effect to them will they be spending hours on the mainland no they won't I think the leader of the Isle of Wight council would have to attend a board meeting a month over probably on the mainland or if the elected mayor is an island resident it may well be that they choose to have the combined authority uh, offices over on the island so then people like myself would get on a hovercraft and go over there for the meetings once a month but ultimately, it's not supposed to be a bureaucratic, time-consuming new council with new staff and a whole building of its own. That's not what it's about. Effectively, it's a board that we will sit on. There'll be a couple, a handful of staff who will be supporting the smooth running of the strategy and the budget for the mayor. Um, but it won't be a whole, you know, big setup like Portsmouth City Council is now, for example. So who are the people actually going to do this? Say, so you, you know, go ahead, you've got these houses that are going to be built and you're going to get these roads that are going to be built to go to the houses. Who is actually going to action all of that? Are you going to have a staff on the Solent Combined Authority board? Are there going to be officers yep. doing it? Well, I think the way it will be set up is that you will have a, a chairman of the board and that will be an elected mayor. So who else will be on the board? Well, every leader of any council who is a member of the combined authority will sit on the board. And could you be the mayor of this Solent combined authority and the leader of a council or would they have to be two different people? No, you can't. So you're not allowed to hold both positions. Okay. The elected mayor is completely separate. So if any existing leader wants to be the mayor, they would have to resign and stand down as a councillor in their respective council area. And what about kind of all the staffing? Because the mayor isn't expected to kind of write up all these projects and go and visit sites. They'll have much too much to do. Who are all the staff doing all this? I think that the mayor will probably um, sublet an office in one of the council buildings. So potentially in Portsmouth or Hampton all over on the island depending on where the mayor lives and I think that he will he or she will literally need a couple of offices they're not going to need more than that in terms of the staff I think they'll need no more than probably five or six because for example if the mayor is drawing up a plan for a new improvement to junction 8 of the M27 they won't be going out and employing all of their own civil engineers and experts because the council's already employed those people so it's not about replication or duplication it's about simply using the skills that we have but it's someone to channel that money that comes from the government. There have been accusations, sadly, that this is being pushed forward by kind of you and people like you and your personal ambition to kind of be a mayor of this huge area that will give you a huge amount of political clout and, you know, be a big boost to your career, frankly. 
Is there any substance to that? Well, I think there's always lots of speculation when you have roles like this. I mean, I've never made any sort of comment at all that I wanted to be the mayor. I love the city of Portsmouth and my job is leader of Portsmouth City Council and that's something that I intend to carry on doing. What I want is not always important. It's about what's right for the area and actually what's right for the area is to get significant investment and into you, our infrastructure. Will you stand as mayor? No, I'm leader of Portsmouth City Council, so all the time I'm the leader, I can't do that. And my number one job is to be leader so of Portsmouth City Council. So you wouldn't resign as leader of the council to stand as a mayor of this Solent Combined Authority no, if it happens? No, no.